Hi there. Now in this question, you're asked to draw a tree diagram then for this information here. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back, you can compare your methods and work solution to mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, what I'm going to show you is different from the mark scheme, just purely because I believe you should have good structure here. And uh, what we've got is a tree diagram looking something like this with two trials. The first trial here is all about the machine and the second trial here will be about whether the biscuit is okay or broken. So we've got three machines, okay, J, K and L. And then whatever the machine is, you've got a probability that the biscuit will either be broken or not broken, dependent on the machine. So when you put the probabilities on, I feel it should look something like this. We're given the probability that machine J makes 25% of the biscuits, so that's going to be 0.25, and the same with K, it's going to be 45%, 0.45. So you can get the third probability because all of these should add up to one. But it's this notation here that I think you should take particular care about. For instance, with this first one, it's known that 2% of the biscuits made by machine J are broken. So what I've written here is the probability of a broken biscuit given that it came from machine J. And that's going to be 2%, 0.02. And obviously you can fill in the other branch of this, the probability that the biscuit is not broken given that it came from machine J, 0.98, because they must add up to 1. So... I've got similar results here for K and L. But I do encourage you to use this type of notation where we use the given symbol because the probabilities are dependent on the type of machine that the biscuits were manufactured from.